All right. So we are in Achaia, I think is how you say it, A-C-H-A-I-A in Greece, um, with a Roditas from Amphora. Um, so, or, well, yeah, Roditas is a grape. It's Amphora aged and it has skin contact. Uh, a lot of times wines will be made in Amphora. Uh, and it's very typical that if they're made in amphora and they're a white grape, that they are skin contact, but that does not always have to be the case. Um, it's very rare that I see it not that way, but so it's, I just want to make sure that you have both distinctions. It is an orange wine in amphora. Uh, and normally that informs us of a couple of things. A, it has skin contact. I don't know how much I tried to find out, um, but I'll make some guesses from trying it. And um, it normally has a little bit more uh, like it can normally be a little bit oxidized because when a wine is made in amphora, it typically has a little bit more access to oxygen. Um, so those are the two typical things that I expect when I'm looking at an amphora aged wine, whether that's red or white, I'm th expecting that it's probably had a little bit more contact with, um, the outside world <laughs> than something made in like stainless steel. All right. So jumping into it, um, color is pretty, pretty, um, ambery. I'd say this is a definition of what I would call looks like an amber wine. I would get very excited if someone poured this for me. Um, and it is 2019 too. So that's a couple years on it. Um, so on the nose, first thing I'm getting is um, just a teensy bit of oxidation. And the way that I would describe that is almost like in this, in this scenario, it's almost like there's these like honeyed and aged notes. Like normally as a wine gets older, it gets like honeyed qualities to it. So it's that, but then there's, there's also this other aspect to it that is more like, just like a teensy bit cherried, something like that. Um, and we'll, we'll talk about that more on the palate. Aside from that, let's go to the bottom. Hmm. It's like a little bit medicinal. Um, definitely fruit there, but the fruit is like not super fresh, which makes sense knowing the way that it's made and how old, how old it is. Um, it's more like candied apples. Um, it doesn't smell or like, it's not going to taste sweet, but there's this like candied quality to it that comes from, um, some of the age and some of the oxidation. Um, then on the fruit, I don't think I described that part yet. So the it's orangey for sure. Like tangerines, more on like the light, bright citrus, uh, orangey citrus than like a deep blood orange or anything like that, but also not as far as like lemons or grapefruits or anything like that. Like it's, it's an orange wine and it's a little bit orangey. Funny how that works. All right, let's try it. Oh, beautiful. So Sometimes M4 wines can be um, intense and deep. This one is not. This one, I would say, as far as M4 wines go, is light and fresh, um, which is great to see. And that's what I expected as when I picked it, um, since we're doing this one for the summer. But um, sorry, I'm just distracted because it was really tasty. Now I'm going to try it again, then we'll talk more about it. Mm, okay, so... There's a little bit of phenolic bitterness, um, but there's more tannin, um, not super strong tannin, but it's definitely there. Uh, and I think it's well balanced with the acidity. The acidity is still quite strong. So those two things are balancing each other out, but it's almost like the mouth feel that you're getting would be the same as if you were having some sort of like lighter red. Um, the fruit and the like candiness that we're talking about is definitely there. I'd say that there's some like nuttiness even on um, the palate, which is another thing that lends itself to um, either both, either and, or a little bit the aging and the oxidation from that. Because oxidation, having a little bit of um, exposure to the outside air normally also helps it or makes it so that it ages a little bit quicker. Um, so that's definitely there. And then, yeah, it's like this tangerine, fresh, crisp, um, finish and then it's just got this kind of like very like acidic but then also tannic well yeah just perfectly balanced like at the end like this is the perfect type of wine to have with food because the way that it kind of cleans out and freshens up your mouth feels great like it's not heavy but it's doing the job 
um, of what you want the wine to do, which is clean out your mouth so that the next bite's just as tasty. So really good. Honestly, you can have it by itself. And a lot of times amphora wines, I don't recommend that for, but this one could definitely drink it by itself. Um, otherwise I would go the route, I would go the route, route, not sure of, um, you could do barbecue. Like if you want to have an orange wine with barbecue, that could work with either veggies or like all the way up to pork would not go past pork. Um, but it could also, because it is light like that, I would say that it could be well, do well with, um, you know, like your, your shellfish, like crabs, especially if you're going to dip it in like a butter sauce could be really nice here or like a lobster bake, those types of things for the summer. All that would be great here. Um, basically think about what they would be having with it in Greece. (laughs) I always picture like, uh, like, a fish pasta, stuff like that. Anything like that would work great. So enjoy.